Hello everyone, this is Sandy. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will show you all how to use Streamlabs OBS for recording videos and potential live streams. But for this time, we're mainly gonna focus on video recording. Let's start. Creating a scene. As you all can see on my screen, I already have a few scenes available. And you can all see what they are called. Each scene has a different meaning. When I move to them, for example, I click on the stream, it's starting soon. You all see the front page I have when I start a stream. Like I mentioned, all scenes has a purpose, but we'll go into that in more detail when I talk about the live streaming, most likely in the future. For now, let's start by creating a scene for some recordings. First, you click on the plus sign and then you can choose a name for your scene. Let's call it Tutorial. So now you will see all the sources that you saw I had so many of in my previous scenes are empty. Since we have now made a complete new scene. If you press on the plus sign in the source tab, there is a lot of different options you can select from. Usually when you record a game, you select Game Capture. This is what I use to record my videos. In some scenarios, this option might not work. I will show you another alternative in a moment. For now, select the game capture source and add it into the scene. Since I have already made one in the past, Streamlabs remembers sometimes the scenes. But we will just create a new one for this moment. You can also rename this one to keep track if you have multiple sources. Now, Streamlabs will want a game to find, for now just press done and launch SSO. Alright, now that we have a game, let's go back to Streamlabs and select the needed settings for game capture. Double click on the source we have just created. Press on mode to see the different options and select the one that says capture specific window. This way it will only react to the app or game that we have opened with the selected name. Then press on the window tab and you will see the option to select Star Stable. Once you have done that, press Done. If by some chance Star Stable is not shown, just restart Streamlabs. Now Star Stable should be seen on the screen. Streamlabs must be always or mostly being launched before the selected game, or else it won't react to it in some occasions. Alternative if game capture wouldn't by chance not work, or if you want to record a desktop screen on a website, you can always use window capture. It works the same way as game capture, only difference it is meant to sense web pages. And if this one would by chance not work, there is always display capture. It shows all there is on the selected monitor if you have two separate screens. It also works on just a regular laptop without any separate screens. How to add sound. Now to set up in-game sound, more frequently known as the desktop sound. You will see that I already have one like it, for now I will remove this one so we can add a new one. To add a desktop sound or any microphone sound really, go into settings. Then click on audio, select any of the desktop sounds. Let's take the number one. You will be able to see many different options. If you select the default one, it will recognize as a desktop sound that will capture the in-game sound. If you have a microphone plugged in to the computer, its name should be visible as well. At the moment, my mic is already connected and are in use. As soon as you add the default one, you will see it being added. Press the done button and then it should be there. Do the same step again, just select the second device and select the mic you want to use if you wish to have one. You can also adjust the sound volume as you would like it. You can also even mute it. What I can recommend is doing a lot of test recordings to find out what works for you. That leads us to the settings of the recording. Adjust settings. Some computers are stronger than others and some cannot handle as much. If you go into settings and video, you will see the base canvas and also how many FPS there is. 
also known as frames per second. What I know, usually 60fps works the best, at least in my case. You can also create hotkeys to make it easier to record. I personally set the start and stop recording on the same button, since it is easy to remember. It is also the only hotkey I use in this circumstance. If you don't count in my scenes, of course. As you all can see down here, all the scenes you have made that are active are shown in hotkeys. You might wonder why that is the case. If you click on the plus sign, for example, BRB screen that I have made in the past, there is some options for it. I only have one implanted and that is switch to scene when this button is clicked. This is how I change my screen during live streams to BRB or how you all can see my game in another window because I click a button that I have selected for this scene particularly. This is very useful and I cannot believe how I could live without it. Separate audio from game sound. If you want to record but scared that the background sound will overlap with your talking, use a separate voice recording program. I use Audacity and it is a free downloadable program who has served me well for a long time. Just make sure you press record on it and if you have a hotkey set from when to start recording, in Streamlabs you can press that at the same time so they become synchronized. I found this way more useful since if my in-game sound was too loud, there was no way I could fix it, since both my voice and the game would share the same sound file. Just remember to mute your mic sound in the Streamlabs OBS if you use a separate mic. Recording Well, now that everything is set up, it is time to start recording. I highly recommend to do a few test recordings. Try to run around, jump a lot, or be in a populated area like Steve's. That way you can see what your computer can handle with the server pressure there is. Even if I have a very good gaming PC, it still lags sometimes. When there is update days and everyone is in at the same time. If you do feel that it is lagging a lot, try to lower the quality of your game or change the output scaling resolution in settings. Play around what works the best for you. If it is still bad, it could be the computer driver that needs to be changed or upgraded. I had many issues with my PC until I downloaded another driver for it. So now it handles my editing program way better and also my recordings. Well, I think that is everything I can actually say at the moment. Um, yeah, that is all for this video. <laughs> Let me know if there's something else you want all to know. I mainly wanted to focus on how to record in this video, but put in some things to live streaming. If you want to know more how I edit my videos or something like that, let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching everyone. And yeah, I'm not the best at making tutorials. I'm just gonna run. Bye bye you.